Back in 2019, during my second year of college, my depression and anxiety were the worst they've ever been. I felt completely worthless and I barely left my room because of how anxious I felt. My days consisted of smoking weed, vaping, scrolling through social media, watching porn, playing too many video games, and also just binge watching Netflix, like I was binge watching The Office at the time. This was my way of just avoiding real life and just escaping reality pretty much because by indulging in all this pleasure, I would just drown out the way I was feeling. But the crazy thing is I wouldn't even be enjoying the things I was doing. Like I'd be watching The Office just like normally watch, like I would barely even laugh at it. That's how down bad and depressed I was. But I would just overindulge in all this pleasure because I didn't know any better and I just used it to escape. Long story short, I ended up dropping out of college and moving back home where I was immediately prescribed antidepressants to try to help relieve my anxiety and depression. Changing my environment and being back at home did help a little bit, but I was still doing all the same bad habits, so I really didn't see any improvement in my mental health. So basically the antidepressants weren't working. It wasn't until I ended up gradually removing these bad habits, which we can call cheap dopamine or instant gratification activities, that I ended up seeing an improvement in my mental health. After a while, I was able to quit all of my addictions, so I was now indulging in way less cheap dopamine, and this is when I finally started to experience an increase and in boost in my mood, and my mental health was getting better. And after a while, we're talking like six months later, I was able to quit all of my addictions, so I was now indulging in way less cheap dopamine, and at the same time, I started doing things that give delayed gratification. So I was now working out, you know, exercising consistently. I was reading and I was meditating, trying to do it every single day. And by this point, my mental health had improved so much that I was no longer depressed and I had very little anxiety. I even stopped taking antidepressants. Okay, now quick disclaimer, I know that some people out there truly need antidepressants to like balance themselves out, I guess. But I wasn't one of those people. I was just in that pleasure trap and basically fried my dopamine receptors so much that I felt worthless, had no motivation, no drive, was depressed. I didn't need antidepressants. I just needed to change my lifestyle, change my habits. And I think so many of us, especially young men, we don't realize that what's causing our depression and anxiety is the fact that we're living like absolute degenerates. We're not doing the right habits to spark meaning and purpose in our life. So. Instead, we just turn to porn, video games, Netflix, social media, and we just get lost in all that overstimulation that we become depressed. That's what happened to me. So I'm not discrediting the fact that people do need antidepressants. I'm just saying it's not always the case. So like I said, that's how it was for me. I was overstimulated, caused me to be depressed. So that's why I'm making this video. And I truly believe that a dopamine detox is the answer you're looking for in terms of being able to improve your mental health. Simply put, a dopamine detox is when you reduce instant gratification or pleasure or cheap dopamine from your life and you gradually increase delayed gratification. And now the whole goal is to do a dopamine detox for the long term. So you turn it into a lifestyle as opposed to doing just a 24 hour challenge or a seven day challenge where after those times are up, you end up going right back to your old habits and making no progress and seeing zero results. So we wanna make it a lifestyle. Now, if you're someone who is constantly stimulating themselves with social media, Netflix, porn, video games, just like I was, then this video is for you. Here's what you're gonna do. For the next 14 days, so the next two weeks, I want you to stop using social media. Delete the apps. Get rid of them, take them off your phone, you don't have to delete your account. Just get rid of the app so it's easier for you to not use them. I promise you, you're not gonna miss anything, all right? I haven't had social media in three years and it's just, it's great. Drama free, don't have to worry about any of this bullshit. So if I can do it for three years, you can do it for 14 days. Don't worry, nobody's gonna freak out because you're not checking Instagram. Like, chill, it's gonna be okay. This is to help you stop indulging in so much pleasure and social media releases a lot of dopamine, especially when you're scrolling from one post to the next, and especially if you're on TikTok, like, damn, man. Like I said, I promise you won't miss anything, right? It's gonna be okay. Now, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to try your best, try your absolute hardest to not watch porn, okay? I know this is challenging, especially for young men, because we're 
freaking horny, all right? But the amount of dopamine that porn releases in your brain while watching it is, is contributing to your depression. Straight up, it's contributing to the reason why you feel like shit. On top of that, you're training your brain, you're training yourself to get off to watching other people do it. So when it's time to get in the sheets with a real woman, you're not gonna know what the fuck to do. Your brain's gonna be confused because you're not attracted to what's right in front of you, you're attracted to a damn screen. You're attracted to pixels on a freaking screen. If you're very deep down the porn rabbit hole, then you're, you might not even be able to get it up for a woman. Just saying, all right? Now, all right, you might be thinking, this is way too hard. I don't wanna do this, Matt, come on, this is not fun. Like, please don't make me do this. Well, dude, that's the whole point. Stop thinking that right now. That's negative thinking. That's your weak side of your brain talking to yourself. You do want to do this. I promise you, you want better mental health. That's why you clicked on this video. It's not supposed to be easy. It's a challenge, but you have the desire to change and improve your life, improve your mental health. So that is why I know you're gonna go through with this. Now, if you slip up and you accidentally, you know, go on the, on the dirty website, just forget about it, keep moving forward and try your best to just not go on them at all. The last thing I want you to do is to limit your TV, YouTube and video games to a maximum of two hours per day. So you are allowed to indulge in some pleasure, but just don't be just binge watching for four hours at nighttime. Keep it to under two hours, preferably keep it to under an hour, but I'm giving you two hours because I know how hard this is at first and we're gonna gradually increase over time. So that's it, no social media, no porn, limit your TV, YouTube and video game usage to maximum two hours per day. And so now with all the free time you have, you have to start adding delayed gratification activities into your life. What we call good dopamines, things that are actually good for you. So I also want you to start exercising a little bit every day. Maybe if you're not someone who goes to the gym, then do some push-ups in your room. If you can't do push-ups, do some knee push-ups. You can also start reading. Pick up a damn book and read a book. I don't care if it's Harry freaking Potter. It can be fiction, just read anything. It beats scrolling on social media. So pick up a freaking book. You can go outside, you can play sports with your boys. Just use your best judgment and don't do things that are releasing a shit ton of dopamine while you're doing them. Like the things that we're cutting out, we're avoiding those, so don't do shit like that. Lastly, remember that the whole point of a dopamine detox is to turn it into a lifestyle where it's a long-term dopamine detox. So I set the 14 day guideline for you just to get the ball rolling, just so you can get some momentum. And if you follow the guidelines I just set for you, you will see an increase in your mental health. You will feel less depressed. You'll feel less anxious. I guarantee it. And then hopefully the goal is to just keep reducing your instant gratification over time, even after the 14 days are up, because you'll want to see more results and you'll love how you're feeling and you'll want to feel like that even more. So you'll continue with the trend and turn it into a lifestyle. And remember, it's not supposed to be easy. You're gonna be bored. You're gonna be so bored at first. You're so used to just picking up your phone and going on Instagram. So it's gonna be foreign to you to now pick up a book. You're not gonna want to do it, but don't listen to that side of your brain. Remember, you have the desire to change. You have the desire to improve your mental health. So you have to fight the temptations. You have to be strong and push past those feelings of boredom because after a while, even after like five days, you're gonna start to actually maybe enjoy reading the book because your brain's now rewiring. And you have the desire to be a more happy and fulfilled person. That is why you're doing it. That's why you haven't clicked off this video yet. That's why you're still listening to me. You got this, all right? I believe in you. It won't be easy, but you're gonna succeed. You're gonna improve your mental health. You're tired of being depressed. You're tired of having no energy. You're tired of feeling lethargic and fucking weak. These are the steps that you have to take to start to improve. Drop a comment below to hold yourself accountable. I think it'll help you stay more focused on this journey. And if you're interested in more videos like this, I've made dopamine detox videos before, so maybe they'll pop up on screen somewhere and like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.